Sorry, had to uh, break the video there. We're back now, though. And, uh, zoom. Zoom. Yep, this is still exciting as ever. Didn't really make any progress. That's okay. I wish I could think of something to entertain you while we get back to where we were. I guess... I'll tell you a story. Uh, I was at, uh, I was at a place eating lunch one day, and I overheard this, uh, uh, one of, uh, some woman was, was talking to her, uh, compatriots, and she told them this story, and I, all I could do, it was all I could do to, to keep from, like, uh, busting out laughing right there on the spot. Because she was like, okay, uh, she was driving on the road, and she got a flat tire. She called AAA, and they came and replaced the front tire with a, with a donut spare that was, that they had. So, and this is a front-wheel drive car. So now you have a front-wheel drive car and a donut tire on the front wheel, which donut tires, they don't take very much stress to them. And she decides that she's just going to go 60 miles an hour, and the tire basically didn't have a chance. So it, you know, just flies off the rim and says goodbye and rolls away. And meanwhile, uh, she keeps driving. for an hour and a half with no tire and I'm sitting there thinking how can this be because she was like yeah I could only go 35 miles an hour and there's this horrible grinding noise I'm like and you didn't pull over what what I cannot even fathom how this decision came to be made that we're just going to keep driving for an hour and a half despite the fact that we hear this terrible noise and you know the car must just be all over the place I mean <sighs> by the time they had discovered what had happened the uh, uh, I'm gonna quick stop the story because we got to get into Chaos Emerald here you have to get the invincibility and then run quickly this is one of the second trickiest ah, This is the second trickiest emerald to get. So I'm sorry to interrupt the story. It's pretty good. And you gotta jump up real fast because it's in spikes and we didn't make it in time. So you know what? I'm just gonna kill myself because I want that Chaos Emerald. Now I think we got the Chaos Emerald, but I'm just gonna try to do it the right way just to make sure. Anyway, yeah, so... You know, by the time they figured it out, they'd almost, like, destroyed the rim. And, you know, that's not a big surprise. Basically, this is one of the funniest things I've ever heard in my entire life. And now I have shared it with all of you. And that passed quite a bit of time here in Labyrinth Zone. Of standing around waiting for bubbles and whatnot and so forth. Now I gotta think if there's anything else. Well, we're almost done with this, this stupid zone anyway. Now, here's what you're supposed to do, I hope, is you get that and then you run very fast, which is, you know, impossible because it's water. But, you know, supposing there wasn't so much water getting in the way, you would run very fast and jump quickly up here and nab it and get out. As you can see, uh, and this right here is where uh, the emerald is in the Game Gear version, much easier to get. You just push a button and it's behind a wall. It's like not even a challenge. Anyway, there we go. Now we should have uh, four Chaos Emeralds. We have two to go. Uh, only six in this game. 
Now for the boss. Interestingly enough, this is all underwater, but you cannot drown. That's weird. Why? Why? I don't know. And this is where uh, the not-so-hidden one-up is, because it means kind of obvious. But it is incredibly dangerous. Probably one of the most dangerous one-ups in the entire game to get. And let's see if I can get out of here without dying. It's re usually it's really not worth it. I, oh my god, I can't believe it. I almost never get out of there alive. I always try. I like tempting fate. Now, you cannot hit this boss while he's in the middle. You might think it looks like you can, but if you do, you'll simply phase through him and die. I mean, you might hit him once, but then you will not be able to bounce to freedom. I usually try, you know, get two hits on each side and then duck. I don't necessarily know if you have to duck, but, you know, considering some of the crap that's happened to me in this game, I'm ducking. And then usually you want to time it so you get him in. Didn't quite that time, I don't think. Now, just, it's a pattern. It's pretty easy. Now he's dead. I'm gonna jump over here. I have before, uh, well, also on the jungle boss, but after I've beaten Robotnik, just fall to my death, and you know, that's that's always kind of embarrassing. I did that on my, my second playthrough to get back here, and you didn't see it, thank God. Anyway, see you next time.